Hello everybody, I am so excited that you're here today. Um, this is going to be a totally awesome episode. I would like to welcome Michelle Blackett. She is a medium, a modern day witch, and a successful business owner. I met Michelle when I first moved to Smithers. She's often been um, the person that I go to with my weird and witchy questions. So, I am excited for my very first episode of 20-ish questions. You are listening to Vesuda Sunrise, episode X, 20-ish questions with Michelle. Enjoy. Michelle Blackett. I am a owner of a metaphysical store in Terrace called New Age Insights. It's a very witchy store, but it also caters to many, many other um, faiths and spirituality as well. I was born in Smithers. Okay, cool. That's yeah. um, kind of where my dad's roots are too, so that's why I, I yeah. ended up there. Um, so, do you want to tell us what Halloween is to you and what we might find you doing around this time of year? I, what would I be doing this time <laughs> of year? Oh, cheers. <laughs> Halloween is the witch's new year. I love Halloween. It's like my Christmas. It's Halloween. It's mm -hmm. It's where the veil is thinnest, and spirits are easy to speak with, and things go bump in the night a lot, a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, it is a time to um, say goodbye to the old things and start new things. That's great spell work there. A great spell works in banishment. It's great spell works in protection. I love Halloween. I love the smells of the pumpkin. I love everything mm -hmm. about Thank Halloween. You. I love spooking people out. It's fun. I just love it. Me too. It's a magical time. Mm -hmm. um, so, so for people that might want to take a more spiritual twist, being that Halloween might be a little different for everybody this year, do yeah. you have any advice of any kind of ceremony or any kind of thing that people could do at home? Well... Samhain is what it is all about. Um, Halloween is just a new name for it. Uh, Samhain is a very old Irish uh, custom of when the harvests were done in the field and it was time to rest. And, you know, the days are getting long, you know, with the, um, mm -hmm. the nights longer and everything and everybody's getting ready. So, yeah, this, this, this little virus that popped up is kind of right. hindering a lot of... Uh, I feel bad for the kids because a lot of kids yeah. won't be able to go out and enjoy spooky Halloween. But there's a lot of people that are still doing it. Yeah, oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> and, and if you feel like take, there's a lot of covens okay. that really get together and uh, celebrate it with cakes and ales and... and uh, it's a beautiful time. It's so magical for us witches. It's just super, super magical. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that you could do on your own. And being Samhain, it's kind of a time that you think about the ones that you've lost mm -hmm. and maybe make a nice altar uh, for them and put up their pictures, put up pumpkins, make, you know, it doesn't even have to be an altar. It could be just a special place in your home yeah. of remembrance. Mm -hmm. And that is so important. It's the day of the dead, actually, November 2nd, I believe yeah. it is, yeah. um, which I love. And I hope to celebrate it down south sometime. It's totally. beautiful. But I also understand, even though there's death, and death is all about the whole Samhain and, and, and all of that. But there's a power in that, too. And there's a peace in it. And, and it's when your loved ones who have crossed over are the closest to you. Mm -hmm. And you can do divination and, and do lots of cool lots of cool spell work to help uh, make that communication with your loved ones a little clearer. I, myself, always light a candle and such for my... Uh, friends and family that I've lost, you know, have crossed over. I think that's very important to me. It's also very important that um, I am there for my clients and customers when they come into the shop saying, we need help. Things are happening around the house. Uh -huh. Things on. are being seen. Mm -hmm. 
We need protection. Yes, <laughs> and that, that happens every question. single year at this yeah. time of year. Yeah. And in springtime, too. Yeah, so. so that was my next question. Some protection tips for anybody that's sort of new to this and might need some help. Lots of uh, There's salt. There's so many kinds. Right? I mean, uh-huh. this Halloween is a super full moon, or super mm-hmm. full moon but also it is a blue moon. Right, which means there's that. two full moons in one month. So it is a very mm-hmm. powerful yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Okay? So Saturday if you want too. to mm-hmm. make your own black salt, you can totally do that that, uh, that night. Um, just use regular salt. Put it out, bless it, and use that around your home. Okay? Yeah. Put it on your window sills. Put it outside underneath your window sills or across your doorway. Uh, you can come out and find some iron nails if you find iron, like horseshoes. That's another huge protection. Um, black tourmaline crystal is huge for uh, protection as well as coffin nails. I make a special cross with coffin nails that I have blessed in um, moon water, fired, burned in fire, um, blessed and uh, smudged and everything and I make these 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 crosses with tied with red uh, cord and they're very protective oh, okay. so if you are creeping around yeah. in the graveyard this Halloween yeah. <laughs> please be respectful carry that cross with you on your left mm-hmm. side and make sure oh please make sure you give thanks to the spirits that were there mm-hmm. and walk out backwards oh, from a grave okay graveyard Why always walk that? out backwards how come because you don't want anything following you oh, and it's called okay. and you clean your feet when you leave yeah, okay you know cool. mm-hmm. it's a, it's part of a, a respect a, a respected a ritual okay. so you just it's all about respect you know i went to uh two years ago i went to the um graveyard here and i took pictures of orbs i wanted to collect orbs oh, uh cool. shots and I uh, I was very respectful. It was so beautiful. It was so calm, and I got some beautiful pictures of spirits. Oh, and uh, I gave thanks. I left a little bit of um, a what do you call it a, an offering. Right. And uh, I walked out backwards after I cleaned my feet. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. Cool. I remember you told me once to always, if I take something from nature, to leave something back, even if I. Now I just pull some hair. Absolutely. Hair. Your DNA. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's really um, a give and take, even with magic, you know. Uh, you know, there's many people that there's got to be um, a handover of something, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's called balance, and we live in balance. We don't just work in the light. We also work in the dark. Mm-hmm. But there has to be balance. Yeah. You yeah. Can just expect to take, 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 and nothing ever bad. <laughs> you know, I've had lots of people tell me that, you know, suddenly something is in their house and they don't know how to get rid of it. And I said, well, what did you take from nature? Uh-huh. And they said, well, I, uh, you know, I, I took this. Yeah. I said, well, did you give back? Mm-hmm. And uh, they said, no. And I said, well, go and give back. Right. And once they do that, the thing takes mm-hmm. off at Even least. Even if you're just taking a piece of driftwood home or something, you want. Yeah, nature spirits, they're yeah. all around yeah. us, and it's cool. just all about living with nature, mm-hmm. and that's not just the trees and the grass, it's also um, the spirits that walk with nature as well, totally. elementals, we call them. Yeah, I like to kind of, like, sometimes I feel like somebody's here in my home, and sometimes you think it's not It's not a bad thing, it's not always this has to be a scary thing, and I can sort of tell them, like, Okay, we're going to live in peace here. This is your house too. However, mm-hmm. you're not welcome to come in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, or I, my somebody taught me was to zip up, zip up my head and say, I'm not open to, to messages right now. That's right. And they have to respect that. Mm-hmm. You know, ghosts and spirits, they're just people without bodies. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they need to learn, you know, rules and boundaries mm-hmm. and that's very important i usually say no spirits are allowed in my house unless they're ancestors right okay that's a cool one and um and if anybody needs help they can't uh, disturb me during my sleep time mm-hmm. 
I will look after you after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to wake up and see something stand next to me. No. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> I just that did a video fun. the other day on sleep paralysis <laughs> and sort of my stories about that, and it is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. Yeah. Um. So another one. Do you have any advice for tarot cards? Because I've sort of started messing around with that. And actually, I, I remember I got my cards from you a few years ago, but I just, <laughs> and you just started. I just started. started to, well, the them? last few months or so, maybe last year, kind of started playing with them, but cool. more seriously, reading for other people, you know. Yeah, uh, the best advice I can give you is always follow your intuition. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you feel like something needs to be said, say it. You're gonna see things in the cards. There is, <coughs> excuse me. There is so many. Um, tutorials on YouTube on how to read tarot. Every psychic is different. Every reader is different how they get the messages. Um, I always tell my customers, please just try to stay out of your head when you read the tarot. Right. Um, don't second guess yourself. Just trust how you feel get back in touch with that connection you have uh with the messages that come through to you it comes in as a thought a lot of people are so worried that they're going to do tarot wrong because the book said the yeah. book said yeah. and i'm just like get out of that mm -hmm. just go with how you personally feel mm -hmm. well we need to do the certain spread this spread the mm -hmm. book told us to do the spread no 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 the book is just offering a sample mm -hmm. of something that you might want to start. I mean, I started out with the Celtic cross spread, um, and it just didn't work for me. It's so I just kind of yeah. made my own and version of it. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it works all the time. Perfect. Just trust it. There's a great book, and you mentioned books, and I will show you this book I sell. It is a wonderful book for witches that want to learn tarot. Um it's your complete guide to understanding the tarot. I love this book. There's a bunch of different ones. There's a modern guide to witchcraft. Mm -hmm. cool. These okay. are really cool books. And I like them because they look like the old readers oh, yeah. that we used to get in grade two. I don't know. Oh, I just yeah, I just I like love that. how they put this book together with cool. the really rough kind of old feeling pages although it's a new book and it's absolutely beautiful it's all about unlocking the secrets of the cards yeah. there are so many 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 books out there mm -hmm. thousands on reading tarot yeah, i just say go with your heart yeah mostly about intuition and kind of how you feel. it's all about intuition yeah. and one thing that you think it means is going to turn out to be completely different but still means the same thing mm -hmm. it's it's interpretation yeah. of what you're seeing yeah. Or how you're hearing things from your guides um and it's very interesting <laughs> yeah it is right yeah <laughs> just go with your intuition mm -hmm. sometimes i've read for people and i notice that it's actually more for me so i'm sorry this is happening but it's it's coming this way <laughs> yeah so do yeah. you do it's like important the when you do readings list? for other people that you learn to um separate yourself mm -hmm. Uh, from the, the this person's energy right. because you don't want to be doing somebody a reading when you're picking up on your own energies yeah, yeah that's kind of selfish i can't do my own reading yeah okay. i for those lucky people that just can't do their own reading so i go to other people and, yes, and they yes. do a reading for me yeah and we do it for each other yeah. kind of thing mm -hmm. i have a friend who has a deck that was given to her by her grandma and it's so beautiful it's like from the 60s and it, yeah it's really really um, but oh, we do them for each special. other, so that's how we. I've kind of been practicing with her. I'll talk to you about the myth. Okay. Yeah. The myth is somebody has to gift you a tarot deck. Yeah, that's what I've Not heard. true. Yeah. Well, someone's got to start with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. So, when you go into a store like mine, mm -hmm. on Lozelle and Terrace, mm hmm <laughs> And you are standing in front of, you want to you get yourself a deck. And there's so many to choose from. I always suggest you ask the body. The body is going to tell you. The spirit is going to tell you. And you hold the deck. Here's my phone. You hold the deck close to your heart. And you close.
close your eyes and you relax and you breathe and you ask the deck, are you meant for me? And you go forward if and that's a yes or backward and that's a no. And you just kind of keep going on until you find a deck that works the best with your, Mm. your, your energy. And that goes the same for crystals. It goes the same for vitamins. It goes the same for anything like that. Mm. Anything you want to put in your body or work with energy wise, you always ask the body. Yeah. You can tell too, like sometimes I've looked at something like, oh, that's so beautiful. I want it. And then you pick it up and like, oh, this isn't for me. (laughs) Nope. <laughs> same thing with pendulums. The yeah. same thing. Totally. Yeah, cool. Uh, so another thing I bought from you one time was the mugwort or mugwort oh, yeah. tea. Bring on the mugwort. Yeah, eh? it was cool. <laughs> I it love really mugwort. Well. Mugwort is uh, one of my favorite herbs. I sell much of it. And mugwort, mugwort tea particularly, mm-hmm. is very good for astro traveling. Mm-hmm. It's also really, really good to be in touch with dream states, um, maybe having more prophetic dreaming. Um, it also tastes really good. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, it tastes kind of like a, a green tea, yeah. is, as close like as I can. a little bit green um, So have, kind of. have, a, have a nice cup of green tea mugwort mm-hmm. <laughs> before bed. And uh, I definitely noticed my dream state got sure. very high def. Me too. Yeah, it was really And cool. uh, there was a moment where it was just like, whoa. And, um, of course, I can't remember my dreams. So. <laughs> yeah. That was, but it was cool. Yeah. I yeah, remembered it was totally. IDAF. Yeah, I heard a tip once that I've been doing, because, um, you know, they tell you to, like, write it down right away. But a lot of us don't, like, not going to just pick up a pencil. So someone said, your phone's always right there. Why don't yep. you just record it on your phone? Absolutely. And if you don't, like, if you stay in the same position as you were having the dream in like as soon as you start moving around is when you start losing it so yeah. if you stay in that position maybe you'll start Hole two, uh, it happened to, to me when I was very young um, if I told anybody about my dreams I couldn't dream about it again Aha, uh-huh. interesting. and you did ask me this question I was like yeah when I was very young I think I was about 14 12, 13, 14, Mm -hmm. and I used to have magnificent dreams that I remembered clearly, but as soon as I told somebody about these dreams, I could never get onto that track again. If I didn't tell somebody, I could fall back into that dream another time. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Um, So yeah, so the question was, do you think it's okay to share them with the public? So... It depends on who the public is. Yeah, yeah. So myself posting them and stuff... I feel like there's a lot that I might want to keep to myself, and then there's certain dreams that I'd be happy to share, but some things I think are sacred to yourself. Dream interpretation is very cool, and there's a gentleman in Smithers that does dream interpretation, and he does workshops on it, and it's fantastic. I want to say it's Jackie Beck? Hmm. I'm definitely going to get that name from you after. Yeah, he's uh, he's really brilliant when it comes to dream cool. interpretation yeah. and workshops. I really wanted him to do a workshop in Terrace. It would be so cool. Yeah. Um, I want to say down. Darren Jackabet, but I could be wrong with the first name. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Smithers is so wonderful, isn't it? I love it. I know, <laughs> I and I miss, so you know... I am coming back to Smithers soon to get uh, my truck uh, serviced. Okay. And I, you know, it's so nice just walking down the street. You know everybody. And you know you know nice. all the shop owners mm-hmm. and, and everything. But it's kind of nice being in a new place. Yeah. I needed a new place yeah, and a new sure. start. Sometimes mm-hmm. we have to do it and we have mm-hmm. to stop worrying. Oh, but what if this happens? Or what <laughs> if that happens? That is the main factor of people is fear that stops you doing the things that you are meant to do Mm -hmm. and meant to go places and be and Mm -hmm. don't let fear yeah don't fear drive you yeah (laughs) 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 um so are there any other natural ways to assist in lucid dreaming dream recall or even past life regression that you know of well you can meditate you can meditate on it. There's some sure. great YouTube. Um, uh, like a 
guided meditations, guided meditations mm-hmm. into dream work. Uh, there's great, yeah, that's what I would suggest. I'm not really mm-hmm. into meditation so much. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I am trying more. Tough. <laughs> I Tough, actually yeah. <laughs> have been trying to do a lot more meditations to mm-hmm. connect with our star families. Oh, cool. And uh, mm-hmm. so that's, it's, I'm so busy. <laughs> I know, and they it's say a it work in progress, but minutes, I would but... like to get to the point where I can meditate a little bit more. I mean, I go mm-hmm. in and out of trance very mm-hmm. quickly, mm-hmm. and I talk to my guide. My guide talks with me, and I talk to spirits on the other side mm-hmm. quite quickly. So I know meditation would probably be great for me, but I just haven't put in the time to do it because yeah. of the shop and everything. Yeah. And I just had shoulder surgery, mm-hmm. so okay. I'm healing. Yeah. This seems to be one thing after another right now. <laughs> yep, yep, that's how it goes. I had a really scary experience once when I was meditating, and then I never, kind of, I guess, since that, and that was a long time ago, I've never been, like, I've never been back that deep, because it would just, I actually thought I was dead. I was, like, thinking I was dying, and there was somebody I seen that was, like, somebody that was kind of a bad person in my life, and... And I just felt, I had um, some beads on, um, a mala made of like gemstone, like little crystals, and yep. it felt heavy and cold, and I could not lift my arms to get it off of my neck, and it was just wow. cold on my neck, and I was like, finally I was able to pull it off, and then I just started crying, it just all came out, and then I was like, whew, okay, that was crazy. <laughs> it sounds like, to me, mm-hmm. that it was a healing experience. Mm-hmm. And there was a lesson in that, and that's why you got to keep going back and doing it. Totally. Yeah, got to push um, that fear. A lot of people that meditate, they get to or astro travel. Mm-hmm. They get to, sometimes experiences are scary, but some of, uh, when you rise above those scary experiences, mm-hmm. it's great. I yeah. mean, you know, you, you have a couple of those, you just got to push through yeah. them. Yeah. Um, there's always a lesson in everything. Mm-hmm. You're going to be okay. But there's a lesson why that person was there yeah, in that sure. experience because you needed to remember something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I did. And I would say the mala, because crystals do work their magic, mm-hmm. um, was protecting you and nourishing you. And I hope you cleansed right. your mala after that. That one's gone now. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? It was, uh, you know what? When I left Smithers, it was kind of a new start to my whole life. Like, it, there's a whole thing about it, but I... Yeah. I put it in the river when I left. Oh, I well, then you did a donation. Yes, I did. <laughs> yep, I gave it back. I left it there. I left it with all of my Smithers stuff that I was leaving behind. <laughs> the morning well, when I was leaving. New, it's a new start. Yes. You need to do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any stories about lucid dreaming or sleep paralysis? No. Not really? Uh, no. God. Yeah. Uh, I've never done lucid dreaming. It's like I said, it's one of the things I want to work on. Mm-hmm. I've uh, watched a lot um, mm-hmm. on it, and it interests me, yeah. especially where the world is now. I think we could help the world a lot For by sure. being able to astral travel and know more about our origins. Mm-hmm. I kind of have an idea of where we're from, but I think in our lifetime, there is going to be the connection with uh, the star beings are actually going to make yeah. themselves known to us. And I would really like to... Sorry, you cut out a little bit. So have you ever heard of Ste- Dr. Stephen Greer? No. If so you I YouTube know. him, he's fascinating. He just put out a, a YouTube a while back, uh, a little movie, I think you can get it, um, called Close Encounter of the Fifth Kind. Oh, yes, I have heard of that. Wow, Mm -hmm. it's going to blow your mind, (laughs) and it's so good, and they've got an app now, and and there's so much that's happening that's going to be brilliant Mm -hmm. for everyone. Our psychic abilities are going to get more powerful. Um, They've been repressed for a very long time, so I'm really excited. I think a lot of people I've noticed that come into my shop, Mm-hmm. are noticing they're seeing a lot more things now and they are yeah. traveling yeah. and they are doing this easier and uh, it's all because our dna is changing and it's mm-hmm. it's it's mm-hmm. it's wild wild stuff i heard of a i i don't know much about astrology at all but i heard that there's something coming on the solstice the winter solstice this year 
where three planets are going to be in line that haven't for like over 200 years or something and and it's going to shift the whole way that we look at spirituality it's happening we're in the great awakening right now it's a marvelously exciting terrified Mm -hmm. time Mm -hmm. what's going on with the world right now is we're going through birth and it's messy Mm -hmm. and painful Mm -hmm. but boy what we're going to get from out of this is going to be the most beautiful world and children born right now are gifted Mm -hmm. they're gifted and they're here to help oh for sure yeah a lot of the friends that i have with children right now like they're all usually most of my friends have kids under like two and mm. I can just tell that they're going to be a whole new version of people that's I love probably it. what everyone thinks about their kids but <laughs> people are waking up though mm-hmm. people are waking up to For their sure. abilities yeah. and when they think oh it's all you know nee 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 stuff and it's mm-hmm. it's like nope it's mm-hmm. not how come you knew who it was that was on the phone yeah how did you know who was at the door before you opened it yeah. how did you know how do you explain mm-hmm. Uh, that person standing at the end of the bed that used to be your dad. Yeah. You're just coming in saying hi. Well, I never saw it before. I said, yeah. that's because you're in the great awakening. The Schumann resonance is the magnetic pulse of the earth, okay? It is going off the charts right now. And we are going through space that we've never been through before. And we're getting hit by these little particle of lights. It's huge what's happening. Yeah. And people are feeling it, and it's an exciting time. Yep, yep. Things just fall into place as they should, too. I had a, I I was signed up to do a business course starting in September this year, and just so many things happened that made it not, it just didn't happen, and it was so frustrating and totally out of my control. And Uh, then the next day, my Reiki instructor came. I seen her in the grocery store, and her level two is starting tomorrow. So I'm doing that instead of business, so... Uh-huh, business. See ya. <laughs> yes. I, I was thinking, no, you're not. No. <laughs> I was no. saying, that's not where you need to be. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You're going to help people. I am starting psychology in January. Wow, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Psychology and Reiki, that's what's going to go hand in hand for me. Hopefully. <laughs> see where life takes you. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. You know, fish... Fish get carried in the stream, and birds, they get carried on the wind, okay? We, as human beings, will fight change. We fight it. We're supposed to give in to it and let life take us to where we're supposed to be, Mm. where we're meant to be. And uh, that's exciting. And Mm. and don't overthink things. Get out of your head. Yeah, things don't need to be so difficult all the time and stressful. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Have you always felt confident in who you are with the things you can see and do? Do you remember where it started? Um, I could sense spirit when I was about eight. Okay. okay. And I saw one. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, you know, it just, it kind of goes away. Mm-hmm. But I always believed that I was a witch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always believed it. Even though I was told I couldn't play with my best friends because I was a witch and I was looking at witch stuff. Mm -hmm. So I quickly stopped looking at witch stuff (laughs) so I could play with my friends again. Mm -hmm. And it it was a very long road. Uh, I was Christian. Mm -hmm. Um, I was a very long road. And it was, um, I always believed in this stuff and I always always read up on past lives yeah. and, and you know all of the ghosts I was always right into supernatural mm-hmm. and uh, and then my abilities really started kicking in mid 20s and then 30 hit and it really came in hard and then I started helping people doing readings for people and it manifested huge and then my guide showed up and he said oh it's okay it's time that you get to know me now and uh after a while of that he says it's time to start a store upstairs because one of the rooms was vacant one of my kids moved out and and then suddenly my back went out so i had to quit my job (laughs) and look after my dad and then I had a store on Main Street, <laughs> and then, and then, and then, mm-hmm. so now I've moved like four or five times now, yep. and now I'm in a big location, 
I just, I decided to not fight it at yeah. one night. I was really low, and I thought I was just over my head, and I pulled out a drawer to paint. Uh, I was refurbishing a, a, um, a dresser, mm-hmm. and I pulled out this drawer when I was crying because my marriage was ending, mm-hmm. and... And I was sad, and this was way over my head, and and then, and inside the drawer, somebody wrote inside the drawer, and you know what it said? I'm gonna let life fill in the blanks, cause in you always were where you needed to be. What the heck? I put up my hands, <laughs> and I said, "Okay, let's do this," <laughs> and I'm never going to second guess divinity again. <laughs> I'm that never going to, cool. I'm just going to go where it tells me to go. Mm-hmm. And now I'm here and I'm with this amazing man. Mm-hmm. We've been together five years yeah. and I'm happy. I've got a thriving business. I have great friends. I have wonderful customers and clientele oh, yeah. and I am grateful. You wake up every day. Mm-hmm. You be grateful mm-hmm. and oh, good cool. things will come to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I promise. Thing my counselor said too, you know, once you start being grateful or doing a gratitude journal and start looking around at all the things that you have, you need to appreciate them. And yeah, it's incredible. It's yeah, incredible I'm what we have happy. and don't notice and take for granted. Mm-hmm. Okay, a fun this part. Fun. <laughs> yeah, I love it. This is awesome. Um, so you went on a totally awesome trip to Salem. Salem! <laughs> oh, look at you go. Yeah. 13th great grandfather founded Salem, Massachusetts. Oh. Holy moly. Yeah. Oh. I just put that out like three years ago. Huh. Okay. And I was like, wow. So I went. I just had to go and do more research on my mm-hmm. family tree. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was fantastic. Anybody who's into witches and witchcraft, mm-hmm. you got to go to Salem. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's fantastic. I got many ideas. I was brimming with ideas. Mm-hmm. Met wonderful people. Met my cousin who owns the witch museum. Uh-huh. Wow. We were so shocked. I was like, cousin and he's like awesome you know it was just awesome wow. it was you awesome and uh, he filled me in on a, a, where they used to live and mm-hmm. stuff like that it was very very cool the people yeah. the businesses in salem massachusetts mm-hmm. are wonderful loving beautiful i'd move there in a heartbeat <laughs> cool, 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 but I, cool. so this is my salem yeah yeah <laughs> It's I remember, I I remember it actually. Um, magical, very magical mm-hmm. place. Uh, the, of course, the witch trials mm-hmm. were there, and uh, many witches were uh, hung. They were not burned. One was crushed. Well, they weren't witches. Maybe one, but that's it. I mean, a witch is a wise person. Somebody who used to be a midwifery mm-hmm. was a person who helped people with plant mad, you know, magic yeah. medicine. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. um, it was just, uh, it was a woman's world is what it was, mm-hmm. and men just were not happy with yeah, that, and like that. it rolled mm-hmm. into what what happened, and mm-hmm. long story, but yeah. Yeah, they didn't like it when we pushed back. <laughs> no. Well, guess what? We're here now. <laughs> we had power, yeah. and they didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad to even think about, like, how many of us there are that would be considered witches and would be killed. I know. I mean, it's happening even today. There really? are women who are witches that are getting killed. That's crazy. It's happening. It's still happening. Just because it's not happening in Canada and mm-hmm. the United States mm-hmm. doesn't mean it's not happening in uh, other I heard a, um, I heard a wild story from a client once that she was in, uh, I think it was the Maldives. Yeah. She told a story about that they, like, long story short, they seen somebody get stoned to death. That's just horrible. That happens. Like, how do we, yeah. We are going to change that, and that's mm-hmm. why we're here. Well, I got a fly flying right. around. <laughs> but I'm grateful. Yeah. I am grateful. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So, not much for lucid dreams, but do you have any um, other odd situations that super stand out or any kind of stories that you want to share? I had uh, I had a couple come to my door at 11 o'clock one night in Smithers, afraid to go home. Okay. I brought them in, and they showed me pictures of what was happening in their apartment. It was pretty scary. And they were not the only ones that were having issues with this apartment. Uh, anyway, a uh, bunch of people went and cleansed it. Okay. And I got a hold of some very world-renowned psychics mm-hmm. to help. So, yeah. That was that was pretty so, spooky. I mean, things happen in the shop, and things happen around me all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, things will pop out, and um, I will you know, sense a spirit around, or you see a dark shadow flying around, or a white yeah. shadow, yeah. for that matter, yeah. and it's just, it's normal. Totally. And I mean, just I, I cleanse flip. houses where mm-hmm. dishes on the table are spinning, and, and I go, wow, you're really using your energy, you're learning how to use your energy, yeah. that's cool, yeah. can you do it again, mm-hmm. you know, you communicate, mm-hmm. spirits want to know, people know that they're there, and that, uh, they probably most likely need help to cross over because they missed the bus. Yeah. So is there a way that you could maybe help them? Absolutely. Cross them over. Mm -hmm. Light a white candle and ask them to come forward and go to the light. Their their family is waiting for them. Mm -hmm. Um, Halloween is a perfect time to do it. Mm So for those out there, their ancestors are going to come forward and take them to the light. Yeah. This is a wonderful time to to move these spirits out. Yeah, cool. And, and don't use a Ouija board to do this. Mm-hmm. A Ouija board is just a tool, okay? And and unless you know what you're doing, don't do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can you can invite things in your house you just don't want to because you don't know who's knocking on the door Mm -hmm, right it could be aunt sally could be the rapist from 10 years ago that Mm -hmm. got hung the Mm -hmm. thing is you you just don't know yeah okay um there are ways you can use ouija boards that will not or spirit boards ouija is Mm -hmm. the trademark um to put a parameter of uh, protection Mm -hmm. around you and uh, and just great books on spirit boards. Read it totally. before yeah. you do it. Yeah, you don't just jump into <laughs> stuff keeps my like life that. a little bit less hectic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's you need to be careful doing stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, there again, respect, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't want to be. It's like tapping on a fish tank. You know, you shouldn't be tapping on a fish tank. Mm-hmm. Why do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> don't tap on the fish yeah. tank don't tap on yeah. the spiritual tank mm-hmm. because yeah. you know unless the spirit wants to come through you know you can't make them come through because mm-hmm. aunt sally it might want to talk with you and have a wonderful conversation with you but then again uh, somebody might be slid through the door right behind yeah. her so yeah, you got to be very sure. very careful it's a very real thing mm-hmm. have you ever seen somebody like the like a like a possession i uh, know i've heard the stories mm-hmm. i've seen people well i guess you could say possession i mean there are people that do come in and say my son or my brother something's different can mm-hmm. you see if you pick anything out and uh yeah i do that and mm-hmm. they come into the shop and i know right right away what's what's i can see who they are i could sense their their intention um, a lot of times they're angry because they don't know where they are. They, you know, where are they supposed to be? And if they're like, I've never had a demonic person yeah. come in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just somebody who got a attachment, right? Which is like a, but it's an attachment, mm-hmm. and you cleanse the person and you bless the person and you tell them what to do to to move on from this, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so yeah, that does happen. Yeah, don't kid yeah. yourself. It does happen. <laughs> be careful. Yeah, be careful. Right. And learn how Same to thing with Ouija you. boards. That's important. Same thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. scrying, scrying into mm-hmm. a glass or a crystal ball. Yeah, yeah you just got to be really, really cautious and aware mm-hmm. of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Oh my 
goodness, I took a, um, the same lady who does the, our Reiki classes, she did, does an intuitive development class, yes. and it's so fun, it's just a couple, she teaches us some different practices, and scrying was one of them, yep. and that was the one I was most nervous about, I don't know why, I was, I was just scared, I felt like just afraid of it. But okay, then what did, did she it, say about that? Um, she pretty much just threw, like, just just go for it, give it a try, and... No, 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 no. I did it. Okay. I did it. This is the thing. You never, ever scry when you're scared. Okay. Ever. Okay, okay, because there's remember, a reason you're scared. Remember, everybody out there, <laughs> don't ever scry <laughs> or use a Ouija board when you're afraid. Mm -hmm. Because something's telling you, I suppose? No, do that's that. not it. It's because they feed on fear. Oh. You will get, uh -huh. you will get, you, it's just, don't ever do it. When you're angry, don't ever do it when you're afraid. Okay. And you can use mirrors, right? Being afraid is not the same as being cautious. Mm -hmm. I okay? think that I was more nervous You have to cautious. have the intention, your intention, and, and your intention to scry, mm -hmm. and what you would like to see come forward, um or an ancestor, or, or a message, mm -hmm. you have to have that intention. But if you have fear, overwhelming, oh, what if this happens, and what if that happens, you are going to manifest that right. shit. Okay. So you got to be really careful. Yeah, okay, makes sense, for sure. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I do I'm so it, happy I can help I, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is very cool, though, what you can see. And how, do you use mirrors? Or I worked with crystal balls, yeah, and I could okay. see things in the crystal balls. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, I see things here. You see, that's mm -hmm, the thing is that mm -hmm. I'm more of uh, I can see pictures. I hear things. I don't need a crystal ball. I don't need uh, mm -hmm. a scrying in in the smoke of an incense um, or a mirror. I just I use mirrors for other things, mm -hmm. but not uh, scrying because mm -hmm. I'm I do workshop on scrying. But I, I, I see things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I yeah. can see what I would see in the crystal ball. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. do you do, um, people would come to you for, like, a reading, like, as a medium, right? So, what kind of stuff do you see for that? Well, we do, I, I work with the tarot. So, I work mm -hmm. with the cards, because I use that as a base. Yeah. I like the foundation of the yeah. tarot. Yeah. And then, if some, if, if, if somebody comes through, I let them come through. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they come through with a message that they want to speak with you, then I do. I let them. And I, I see their past lives. I can see their spirit animal. And I usually say that to the end because mm -hmm. it's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I work with oracle cards as well. Okay. But, you know, oh, Uncle John, I wanted Uncle John to show up. And I said, well, I can't make him. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. not... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uncle John's off doing something else, obviously, <laughs> yeah, but good. somebody else is here, mm -hmm. cool. you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, this person's trying to get through to you. And and, and it could be your Aunt Sally's sister. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, someone you don't even know. <laughs> or they yeah. know you can get a message for, to someone else that really needs yep, to hear it. for sure. That happens a, a lot. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people will come into the shop, and I see I see a spirit walking behind them, and, and it doesn't happen every day. Mm -hmm. And then I say, excuse me, I say, you know, uh, have you lost somebody recently who's male and young male and, and so on and so forth. So, mm -hmm. And then they usually say yes. Or they, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh, cool. That and you know really what? Neat. I wasn't this confident before. You know, it's been whew, 12 years, mm -hmm. 13 mm -hmm. years that I've got more confident and that was because of my sister she really helped boost me up yeah. listen <laughs> it's real what you're doing is real and I'm going yeah yeah it is you know and it takes you a while it does it does take you a while before you start really getting it yeah. and f confident intention confidence uh being grateful for the gift to help others and and my thing is helping others I want to help others. Right. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Everyone should help people. Yeah. You know, you're on this, you're on this planet in a human form, but you are a spiritual being. Mm -hmm. And why you're here 
having emotional experiences, learning emotions as a spiritual being. That's why you're here, to learn emotions. Yeah, so as, as far as past lives go, like I've always read that you, if I say I don't learn this lesson, I'm going to come back and learn it harder again and again. Good chance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So pay attention. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Figure> you are. <laughs> Why do you and think? you go through lives together, like mm -hmm. with um, house, like soul, soul people, soul groups. Mm -hmm. You know, soul okay. families. That's the word. Yep. And you go through different lifetimes, but in different uh, roles. Right. So your mother could have been your baby daughter. Okay. Cool. Your father could have been your sister. To you how know, far out do you think that extends? Like just your yeah. immediate family? Yeah. Cool. Um, so, I think we're coming to the end here. What else do I have? Yeah. Is there any other stories that you'd like to share with anybody? Um, I don't know. I mean, being a witch is very freeing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Um, it's a beautiful thing. And... It's a fast, and Wicca, Wicca is a religious, mm -hmm. a religion for, not every witch is Wiccan and not every Wiccan is a witch. Right, okay, yeah. And I put on, uh, with a friend, Laura, we put on a course, a workshop on Wicca and Witchcraft 101, mm -hmm. and our last day is tomorrow, but we will have it again, mm -hmm. and it's, it's always full, and we do really well, and we love teaching yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, the misconceptions of things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, witch hats. I can't keep them in stock. I know, I know. <laughs> Those wool, I, cute mm -hmm, witch hats. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an empowerment, not just totally. to women, but to men as well. Yeah. It's an earth based religion. Mm -hmm. This is a great little book Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's so pretty, too. Oh, I love <laughs> it. But also, my favorite, my favorite book on mm -hmm. Wiccan witchcraft. I'm not wicked. I'm a witch, but um, my favorite book on it, and one we use in the in our our uh, our workshop, is called by by Scott, M. and he's written many many amazing books. Um, a beginner's guide to Wicca and witchcraft. Right. Okay. For the no witchcraft for the solitary Wicca for the solitary practitioner is the first one. And it is an awesome book. If you are interested in it, mm -hmm. you can get it on audio as well. Oh, I love that. And a PDF form. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> it's well worth the read cool. if you are interested in this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So of being with the earth and giving to the earth. Yeah. I think um, I'll get maybe a list of books from you and then I'll put them in the comments. And you can oh, man. There's so I know, many. I know. <laughs> I'm a book hound. I love it. Me I have too. so many Me books. Too. I love books. <laughs> You're like halfway through, so I'm like, oh, just yeah. I love my books too. They're great. They're, my They're great, friends. and it's yeah. wonderful. It's mm -hmm. it's a lovely feeling mm -hmm. being surrounded by magic all day oh, long yeah. and mm -hmm. living in the moment mm -hmm. and knowing everything's going to be okay. Yeah, and we should all open up a little bit more to it. I wish more people would live with just a little bit of magic, a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle, a little mm -hmm. bit of zhuzh. <laughs> I've been out to uh, the Halloween stores in Prince George. Oh, fun. It's the best place to find some Halloween everyday decor for you. Right? If you're yeah. Rich. yeah. Pick up lots of dish towels, totally. lots of cool stuff for my home mm -hmm. that uh, you can't get all year round. Oh, yeah. And I love it. I just love it. My favorite thing I found at Michael's, it's like a little skeleton, a little meditating skeleton. He's like, oh, a, oh he's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Michael's is a good place yeah. to get a lot yeah. of Halloween decor that's totally. not gitchy, you know, mm -hmm. that isn't like so yeah. gitchy, yeah. but um, I I just love doing that, and my my boyfriend Brad is so wonderful, he, Aww, he lets me put things it. up, <laughs> it's classy, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I recently classy. started dating someone, but yeah, I, I, uh, thanks for inviting me, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I'm so happy to do this, this was totally awesome, um, Maybe you can tell us a little bit about your shop and what you guys have to offer and where people can sure. find you. Well, our shop is open from Monday to Saturday, 
and uh, it's coming close to Christmas. We've got so many amazing items for uh, gifts for everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, we do sell cauldrons. We also sell rosaries. Um, we sell, you know, dragons and fairies. And we have clothing. And uh, we've got a beautiful bath products. Mm-hmm. Green Goddess Bath is going to be bringing in her bath bombs that are awesome like little Aww. voodoo dolls Aww, and little cool. little skulls and yeah. oh god her, the stuff she makes is the cat with the three eyes it's just beautiful oh, cool. anyway we have so many things for christmas and we do ship mm-hmm. we ship oh, everywhere cool. awesome. and uh it's fun we have a blast and we help people and we do readings for people I do readings Mondays and Fridays and with appointment and we have a lady in her name's Tony and she uh, does readings all day Saturday. You just need to walk yeah. in or give us a call and make an appointment. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And We're Sarah, actually but... having Halloween on Witch's Lane. Oh. So we'll be open till 6. And there's a bunch of other little shops. And we're opening up and we have a um, uh, tent city kind of a little tent thing for the kids to go through. Mm-hmm. You know, they everybody's being cautious of the COVID stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you know, doing everything (laughs) right. Mm -hmm. Um, But we thought, eh, yeah, we want to have some fun with the kids. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. uh, so the parents can take the kids there because nothing else is happening other than Mm -hmm. a few homes that are open for Halloween. And uh, just hand out candy and dress up. Yay. It'll be fun. Yeah, let's pull out our normal outfits and wear them on Halloween. I am. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, I am. Cool. Okay. And we then... got, oh, um, we got such amazing jewelry that just came in, too, from Alchemy of England. Like, oh, awesome. cool. And books. <laughs> lots of books, lots of decks, mm-hmm. okay. lots of candles, lots oh, of magic yes, spells, lots of cauldrons, yeah. mm-hmm. lots to choose from. And the black salt. If black salt? Black I have salt. to make some more. I have to make <laughs> okay, it on okay. Halloween. Of course. The, oh, right. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have cool. to, yeah, I'll be making that on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, this is a powerful moon that we should utilize for sure. Anything Absolutely. Protect yourself um, mm-hmm. and give thanks. That's lovely. 2020 is almost over. I know. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> We're close. Hang in there. It's going to get better. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this, Michelle. Hey, you're so welcome. I hope it's we good can... seeing you. Yeah, you too. We'll talk again soon. Absolutely. <laughs> you take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, darling. Mm-hmm.